Hi this is Ajay Jangid in this video and you are watching Jogi and you Friends you are going to learn today a question related to circle and chords and the question is find the distance between center of the circle and the chord so for solving this question we have a circle here and the diameter of this circle is AD with the length of 34 cm and we got a chord which is AB and the length of this chord is 30 cm By the way friends creative corners time out is back again in a new avatar it's time to explore your creativity while you learn so get set to learn something new so it's a learning festival which is absolutely free for all age from 12 and above all you need to do is just register in advance and attend all the seasons spend a full day with creative professionals brilliant performers and master of the trade Every scientist, engineer, doctor, magician and artist was once a learner just like you. So give wings to your imagination and learn without limits. Put on your creative hats and get ready for the Unacademy's Time Out 2021. And the most exciting part is you can win a subscription for Creative Corners by submitting us a video of yourself recreating something that you learned in our Time Out seasons. The date is 31st January and the time is 9 a.m. onwards. All the links are given in the description. Go and register yourself. So, let's get back to the question. So, according to this question, we have a diameter with the length of 34 cm and a chord with the length of 30 cm. So, if we notice here, a point is common for this diameter and this chord. Now, our question is very simple. that what is the distance between the center of the circle to the chord so i hope you know very well if we have any external point o from the line ab then the distance between them is a perpendicular distance which is the shortest distance so what will we do for that so we draw perpendicular from the o to the ab so we did ab perpendicular op so we took this p on the point where our perpendicular has drawn So after that we have to find the distance that means we have to find op so for this what we have to do now just find radius of this circle which is diameter upon 2 means half of the diameter and what is the diameter it's 34 cm so just half of 34 cm which is 17 cm so we got our radius so just aside this radius and see this we have two parts of chord ab the first part is ap and the second part is pb and now we have part of this chord ab which is ap and pb now there is a question that why we wrote this in equal because both of the part of this chord are equal why because we all know that a perpendicular drawn from the center to the chord is bisector for that chord that means This perpendicular divides AB in the two equal parts that's why AP is equals to PB so we use this basic theorem here that perpendicular divides the chord equally in two parts that AP is equals to PB so it is the half of 30 that means the total length of a single part is 15 cm so just replace this in figure and took the AP aside now we need only three sides of a triangle here 15 cm which is ap 17 cm which is oa and this question mark which we have to find which is op so just look at this triangle carefully it's a right angle triangle and in a right angle triangle there is a relation between all the sides which is defined by pythagoras theorem and what pythagorean theorem says it says a side of a right angle triangle is equal to under root the square of hypotenuse minus the square of remaining side so just replace all the things from the figure so our calculation has been under root 17 square minus 15 square and after calculating we have root 289 minus 225 which is equal to root 64 and after taking the root of 64 we just have the length which is 8 cm which is op and this op is the distance between center and the chord of this circle and this is what we have to find so friends you see how easy question it was so if you like my videos then hit the like button subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for such more videos 
So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.